Hello people and welcome to Sheep and Dane. Uh, today we're playing Couple Space Program. It's been quite a while and uh, this is the first time I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and try and do post commentary. Uh, it's been, uh, you know, quite a struggle getting this um, up on its feet, uh, seeing as there hasn't been an episode out for quite a long time. But that's about to change because I'm not lazy anymore. Um, truth be told, I've, well, I haven't cheated, but I've played since the last episode, and I didn't record that. Um, so as you will see in this science set, well, I do have quite a bit more science than, uh, than where we ended last time. But no matter, this just means that, you know, I can skip ahead a little bit and get some of the better parts so I won't crash as often. Um, of course, um, stability is what I kind of lack at the moment, so I'm uh, probably going to go for that, as well as the uh, little poodle engine and the new kind of parachutes. Um, also, what I do want to go with as well is the batteries and the science module. The science module is it's basically like the ghoul container, but larger, and you can get, well, more science value for each thing that you do. Um, so this flight is just going to be a test flight really uh, for a new kind of design that I wanted to uh, to test out and build and see if it was stable enough and maybe if it could um, handle more weight uh, than the usual kind of thing um, as well as putting feet <laughs> on the lander module um, you know to try and test out uh, a moon landing if you could say so uh, what I did not know because the <laughs> The, the landing struts in this game are kind of, well, they're not complicated, but sometimes you get confuzzled as to how they will open out. Uh, so I pointed them upwards instead of downwards, and you will see uh, it was the wrong way. So this is, you know, a rather simple s design. A uh, long liquid fuel booster to start out with, and uh, three more at the sides, which will be detached by the couplers. And the solid fuel boosters that you see at the very bottom, uh, they are not in the final design, as you will see in the video in, in a few seconds. Um, because they just made it spin out and drop down from the sky and kill Jeb several times. Um, of course we don't have the stability enhancing um, takeoff thingies yet. And we don't have ladders, which means that we can't go to the moon yet. For some reason, ladders are extremely complicated in this game, and therefore we can't have them from the very beginning. And I find that confusing. But I guess that's just to make people not go to the moon in the very beginning of the game. Uh, then I kind of see why they did it. Um, of course, solar panels, they will cost quite a bit more to achieve. Um, so we have quite a, you know, major task ahead to, to gain as much science as possible. Uh, in the next episode, I will go ahead and use the science module on this very rocket. Just to uh, put it in somewhere in between. And uh, get a bit of science. Um, so it was, it was it was pretty easy with this design rocket. If you fancy, um, I will leave a link down in the description to a place where you can download it. And uh, you can, you know, modify it as you wish. Um, of course, the um, EVA reports and uh, the crew reports... Uh, from now on in Earth orbit is not worth as much because I've done it quite a few times uh, in the previous episode and while I played on my own um, so they don't 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 do them because if you if you keep on oh yeah look at the landing struts opposite ring around oh my it's because some of the landing struts they go out and then down uh, but these just went out and up it's difficult to explain but that kind of doesn't matter because, well, it's time to get back to Earth and uh, and land safely, hopefully. Um, of course, I well, I did send the signs that I had, uh, so I wouldn't lose the, you know any potential value uh, because I do have a rather large crash history, I must say. Uh, I think you guys agree on that. And as said before, if you want any of my rocket designs, uh, just hit me up in the comments and I will leave a link to it. Uh, oh, look at the flames. Always tend to love the look of the flames. Yeah, they look... They look realistic, I'd say. Uh, kind of... You know, I, I was going in quite hard at a very odd angle, but, you know, it 
usually sorts out as long as you don't use the um, the time warp while landing, as you will see. Uh, because I did I did slow down with the pool engine, which was intended, you know, as if you know when you were doing a moon landing. Uh, but of course, in the very last second, when it was about to land, I speeded up, sped up time, and of course, physics break when speeding up time, and that happened. Another Kerbal Space Program kinda wants you not to speed up when very close to orbit, uh, but when you kinda close down on the warning prompt once, well, it won't warn you again, and you know, then it's your own fault if you crash down like I did and break your, your ship. Um, but as always, there's always another Kerbal to choose from, uh, from the set. Uh, you know, I think I might go for Bill Kerman next time. Who knows? Well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll try to land on the moon, maybe.